This screencast covers module 4, Lesson 11's Problem Set. We're going to do a separate one for homework guidance in the problem set. We'll uh, solve all the problems from start to finish and might even use a couple different techniques. With the second one, with the homework, we will s help you set the problem up and discuss how they are solved. This first problem is pretty straightforward. Um, so let's go through it, read it, and then we'll draw a diagram and uh, finish this up. So Kim and Courtney share a 16-ounce box of cereal. By the end of the week, Kim has eaten three-eighths of the box, and Courtney has eaten one-fourth of the box of cereal. What fraction of the box is left? Well, they're not asking for the number of ounces here. They're simply asking for the fraction. We could calculate the number of ounces. But that's not what's being asked here. So let's set the problem up with a tape diagram. Now, the 16 in this case is kind of extraneous and distracting information. Because what we're talking about here is one whole box. Okay? So what do we have? We have um, Kim has eaten 3 eighths. And Courtney has eaten 1 fourth. And our question is, how much is left over? Well, that's pro uh, a pretty standard problem. We've done quite a few like this in the past. I like to set things up as an equation, so I have, or, or as an expression. So I have 1 minus the sum of 3 eighths and 1 fourth. We will now find our common denominator which is 8, although we could use 30 seconds if we'd like to cross multiply. So we have 3 eighths plus 1 fourth becomes 2 eighths. So now I have 1 minus 5 eighths, and the answer is 3 eighths. There's 3 eighths of a box left. Okay, this problem's a little more complex. I'm going to show you a few ways to approach it. Matilda has 20 pints of green paint. She uses two-fifths of it to paint a landscape and three-tenths of it while painting a clover. She decides that for her next painting she will need 14 pints of green paint. How much more paint will she need to buy? Well first of all we need to look about uh, what she has. We know that's 20 pints we know that she uses two-fifths for a landscape and three-tenths for a clover. So this is the amount she used. We need to find out how much she has left or how much she has not used. When we find out how much she has left, we can uh, look at that 14 points, see if she has enough, and determine how much more she needs. So we want to find out what's used. We're going to use a fraction to start that. So the used is 2 fifths plus 3 tenths. And that's the same as 4 tenths plus 3 tenths equals 7 tenths. So if 7 tenths is used, the 3 tenths is left over. So if that's what's left over, we need to find 3 tenths, and 3 tenths of what? 3 tenths of 20. So I could use another tape diagram, but I'm just going to go straight to the calculation. 3 tenths times 20 equals 3 times 20 over 10. And we can divide both of these by 10. We get a 2. And we see that she has 6 pints left. How many does she need? She needs 14. So we can simply subtract 14 minus 6 equals 8. So she needs 8 more pints. Let's look at another way to solve this. We know that she has 20 pints in all and 2 fifths is used for the landscape. So we can figure out how many pints are used to do the landscape by multiplying two-fifths times 20. And two-fifths times 20 is two times
times 20 divided by 5. We can divide both the 20 and the 5 by 5, and we get 8 pints for the landscape. Now we need to find out how many pints she uses for the clover. And that's 3 tenths, so it's 3 tenths of 20, which is the same as 3 tenths times 20. 3 times 20 divided by 10. Again, we can divide both 20 and 10 by 10. And we get 6 pints. So this is the amount she used. She used 8 pints and 6 pints. So the amount used is 8 plus 6 equals 14. So how many does she need? Well, we have to find out how much is left over. So this is used. And to find what's left, we have to start with a whole. 20 minus 14 equals 6. But we need 14 pints. So how many more does she have to buy? We'll have to do some subtracting. She needs the 14. She has 6 on hand. She's going to need 8 pints to finish up her job. Let's consider a third way to do this. We're, uh, once again, we're going to use that tape diagram. And we'll bracket the hole, which is 20. Now, we know that the units are 2 fifths and 3 tenths. So we can change the 2 fifths to 4 tenths. So now we're going to take our original tape diagram and partition it into 10 equal parts. Now we'll partition four of those, four tenths for the landscape, and three tenths for the clover. How many do we have left over? We have three tenths left. So again, we'll take our three tenths. We want three tenths of 20. Three tenths times 20 equals three times 20 divided by 10, and we get 6, so she has 6 pints left. Again, she needs 14 pints, so we'll subtract 14 minus 6, and we get 8 pints. And again, we should make that statement, she will need 8 pints of paint. Jack, Jill, and Bill each carried a 48-ounce bucket full of water down the hill. By the time they reached the bottom, Jack's bucket was only three-fourths full, Jill's was two-thirds full, and Bill's was one-sixth full. How much water did they spill all together on their way down the hill? I'm going to start with a number of tape diagrams, one for uh, Jack, one for Jill, and one for Bill. So we have Jack. Again, the hole is 48 and his is three-fourths filled by the time they get down the hill. All right, so what do we have here? If it's three-fourths full, how much did he dump? He dumped one-fourth. One-fourth of 48. We'll come back to the calculation. Chill. This bucket, again, 48 ounces was two-thirds filled. So what did she lose? She lose, lost one-third. And Bill, again his bucket, 48 ounces, was only one-sixth full. How much did he lose? He lost five-sixths. Okay, so now we're going to calculate how much water each of them lost. That is 48 over 4 equals 12 ounces. So Jack lost 12 ounces. This is 
48 over 3. I did a little shortcut here. 1 times 48 is 48. Okay, and 48 divided by 3 is 16 ounces. And bill is a little more complicated. We have 5, 6 times 48 equals 5 times 48 over 6. Both 48 and 6 are divisible by 6. And we get an 8. And our friend Bill lost a total of 40 ounces. Now we need to find the sum because we want to know how much they spilled all together. So we have 12 for Jack, 16 for Jill, 40 for Bill. The sum is 68 ounces. So they lost 68 ounces in all. Mrs. Diaz makes five dozen cookies for her class. One ninth of her 27 students are absent the day she brings the cookies. If she shares the cookies equally among the students who are present, how many cookies will each student get? All right, let's make a tape diagram. First, we'll represent the students in the class. There are 27 students in the class. And one ninth are absent. We'll put an A for absent. We want to find out how many students are absent. Or we could find out how many students are present. If we find out how many are absent, we have one ninth of 27, which is one ninth times 27 which is 27 divided by 9 equals 3. And then we'd have to subtract 27 minus 3, and we get 24. The alternative way to do that is find out how many are present. We have 8 ninths are present, and that's 8 ninths times 27 equals 8 times 27 divided by 9. We can divide both 27 and 9 by 9, and we get 24. Either method works. It's up to you which you prefer. We can either find the absent and subtract the total class, or we can find the present and we save the subtracting, but the problem uh, is a little bit more complex initially. All right, so now what do we have? We have s how many cookies? We have five times 12 cookies. And that equals 60. So we have 60 divided by 24. Goes in twice. I get a 48. I get 12. I get 2 and 12 24 which is the same as 2 and 1 half. So each child gets 2 and 1 half cookies.